Hello everybody. Okay, I just wanted to kind of update you. Uh, welcome to the particle system update. Okay, so most mostly what I did was um, it's all in the sprite class. So I lowered the number of particles down to 500, although that's not a real big deal. So we go down here to particles, and this is the particle class which already has speed built in. I just have not used it yet. So there's bind VAO, here's init particles. Okay, so I did a little calculation there that I ended up never using. Cause that doesn't really mean that much. Okay, so I, I cycle through all the particles and then I give them a random position on the screen but on a, in a grid formation. So it's um, basically every 10 pixels um, so I took a random number 0 to 191 minus 96 which takes it from negative 96 to positive 96 then divide by 96 so then you're that that gives you the 192 spots uh, from left to right and it, it puts it in one of those spots and then we do the same thing with the 1080p um, so 108 minus half that in the random and then divide by half and then there you go then we just gave it a random color and I changed to do something that I saw on one of my previous videos and one of my uh, previous source codes I should say. Um, random 256 divided by 256 which will give you 256 colors um, rather than random 100 by 100 which will give you 100 different random colors. Well not just 100 but anyways it's a com combination question. <laughs> Excuse me, still kind of still kind of dying from the cough, but we're fine. And then I did random speed um, up, down, or side to side. So this is up, speed x is zero. This is down, speed x is zero. Speed y is negative and positive there. Left x is negative, y is zero. Right x is positive, y is zero. And basically, in the update particles, all we do is draw there. In the update particles, we cycle through all the particles, add speed to the position, then we check for the edge of the screen, or an intersection to change the speed, which we haven't done yet. So let's take that out and put that down at the bottom. Check for intersection to change speed, because what I'm going to do is put all of those, I'm going to make it an actual grid, but anyways, so if we run and earlier you should have seen I had both of these switched to greater than so if the if the particles at all on the screen which they all are then it goes into here it keep in mind it just added the speed up here so it's subtracting the speed down here and then it's resetting the particles position <laughs> uh, so that was fun to figure that out so anyways if it's less than we're gonna swap that back Anyways, let me show you what it does, and you kind of have to look to see that it does the grid. The grid. Um, see, they move in a grid. They move up or down, left or right, and then they bounce off the uh, off the top and bottom side, left and right sides of the screen. All right. Well, that was a quick video, but uh, like I said, there's going to be much more. I kind of want to put the grid on the screen, and then obviously the next point would be. Um, a maze to put a maze on the screen and have the, the particles move around the uh, walls um, all right well thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe and comment in this comment section below and feel free to upload your own questions projects um, anything at all oops I gotta exit the program there and, and thanks again